My name is Aaron Chatham from C5 Insight. In this video, I want to show you how you can add available content types to your libraries using the SharePoint REST API within Power Automate. All right, so to, to get started, we've created a custom content type called Partner Hub Documents. And this is just located in my content type gallery within SharePoint. And what I want to do is I want to add this content type to uh, my team site. And so my team site here in this example is going to be team site A. And so we're going to add team site A and we want to basically add that content type here. So what we've done is we've gone into advanced settings and we've uh, allowed the management of content types. And now we're ready to run the process, right? And so in the, in the past, we've been able to just run this single action called add available content type. Uh, within the REST API. And what that would do is once the, the custom content type was synced across all sites, it would grab that content type because it was available and add it to your document library. Uh, that process has changed a little. And so now you actually have to go grab those custom content types from the content type hub. Um, there is some documentation around this. I'll post it in the description if you want to read it from Microsoft. But basically, they're saying for performance reasons and some other reasons, they're not actually sending all the custom content uh, types to every site. So you have to go grab them. So just doing a little bit of playing around here, uh, I've stumbled up on this, this document, uh, this, this uh, article, and I ran this get compatible content types. And so here, we're actually running that. And you'll see that it highlighted, I actually was able to grab that partner hub documents. So we've, we've got the content type, and now what we need to do is, is add it to our site. We're saying, okay, uh, SharePoint, we found it, and now we just need to grab it and, and pull it back. So what we're doing is we're running this action within our flow. Um, right here, you'll see that I have, this is my site, so test site A, uh, I'm connecting to. We're gonna run a post, and we're just running this commit, this URI, uh, against the content type in the body, okay? We're gonna do that, and then likewise, once we've done that, we can kind of do what we've always done, right? And we can go uh, just add that available content type because it will be available. So I'm going to go ahead and run this. And we'll see if this kicks off and adds this content or this partner hub documents to my document library. So this is going to run. Again, there's some really good uh, documentation around this. I'll post it in the description below so you guys can see it. So you'll see that it's ran. Um, and so if I go over to my site, I'm gonna go back and refresh. And you should see now Partner Hub Documents is added. So if you're having a hard time trying to figure out how to add uh, available content types, maybe custom content types, just make sure you're adding this pull uh, action and it should work for you. If you found this video helpful, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And also hit that subscribe button for more Microsoft 365 videos just like this one. Until next time, we wish you the best of luck.